Hey guys, Archie Luxury on the Paul Pluter channel. Today I'm doing paid review 21 QB145 wristwatch check Rolex Submarina. <coughs> and here we go. Dear Pontiff, I've sent you a hundred US dollars for a paid review. Please refer to me as MM. I'm 26 year old fan from Chicago and have been watching your video for years now. I'm still building up my watch collection so I I don't think I'm ready for a collection review but I'd like to hear your opinion on a Pacific watch. One of the watches I really like right now, not going to buy, is the Omega Seamaster Aquaterra World Timer. Reference 220.12.43.22.03.1 Highly complicated watches from higher tier brands like Patek, Lange, Vacheron on JLC are pretty expensive, but this stainless steel Omega, Omega World Timer looks beautiful and robust. I love, absolutely love the color, design, in-house master chronometer, matters movement, and the world map, which was created by laser chemical reactions on center grade five titanium disc. Omega is actually one of my favorite brands. As a brand, I'm starting to see Omega grow and make some pretty nice timepieces. In my opinion, the Rolex shortage has definitely helped them. People are actually able to go to Omega uh, boutiques or ADs, try on a watch and buy them. From what I've heard, they're starting to give less discount, which is a double-edged sword for them. Most people are buying them, but for less discounts uh, than before. Below, I've attached a link to the Amiga website. Watch Finder video, and okay, he sent me a few things. Please don't hold back in your response. Let me know if this watch is a nice, nice uh, bang, bang per buck watch or absolute dog shite. In the future, I would ask you to review another watch just to see your thoughts and to send you a few bucks your way. Love you long time, MM. Okie dokie. <coughs> so, what do I think? What do I think? And i got to be totally honest with you. When I first got this review in, I go, oh no, not the bloody Aquaterra World Timer. No, I was going to say, no, don't get it. Get a paddock only. <laughs> That's it. And, you know, I was kind of anti this watch. And then slowly by sl slowly, by slowly, I've started to change course. My good friend, Sirocco Sales, he's got an Aquaterra. And he loves it. He's got a simple Aquaterra. But I love <laughs> the bracelet. And i got to be totally, totally honest with you. A steel Omega. World timer. How could you not love this piece? Now, it's not ridiculous money. It's not ridiculous. And i got to be honest with you. I'm starting to warm to this watch. I initially hated it, but it's slowly starting to grow on me. And I quite like the Seamaster Aquaterra line. I gotta be honest with you. I actually like them. I like them. And I tend to agree. I'm sick of the Rolex bullshit. There's no Rolexes. It's hard to get. You go in the AD, they treat you like shit. You can't even get a catalogue out of these fikers. And i got to be honest with you, this is actually a pretty damn cool watch. And, okay, it's, it's, it's never going to be a paddock filly. Okay, okay, it's not... A paddock filly. Okay. But look at the pricing on it. This is pretty damn competitive for Omega. I mean, Omega is not a... It's not chopped liver. This is a 
nice brand, and they're really punching way above their weight. So I've got to be totally honest with you. You know what? I could see a little Omega collection. An Omega, Speedmaster, Man on the Moon, maybe a 1957 Trilogy, Seamaster or Railmaster, uh, maybe a Bond Wave Seamaster, and then maybe an Aquaterra World Timer. Omega is getting some good stuff out. And the thing is, this is quite a complicated piece. It's not... <laughs> it's not that expensive. It's okay, compared to, you know, Amiga's a really great brand. You ask, you know, Amiga really, there was a stage when Amiga was better than Rolex in the 70s. And I've got to be totally honest with you, for the money, I don't think it's terrible. And, you know, obviously, I think the Paddock World Time is a piece of art, of course, but it's significantly more expensive. And for a fraction of the cost, the Amiga Aquaterra, it is a sporty world timer. The Paddock is dress watch world timer. This is a sporty world timer. I quite like it. I quite like it. I quite like it. So, I wouldn't rule it out. And I, I came to this review, you know, I, I didn't, I thought, oh, I got this review and I read it and thought, oh, no, 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 you can't do this. But, you know what? It's actually starting to grow on me. This watch is pretty damn nice. I even like the textured rubberized strap on the baby and I believe you can get it on a bracelet as well it's got a beautiful deployant clasp with the rubberized type strap man I think this could be a very cool watch to have Sure, it's not a paddock. Yeah, okay, but it's it's not the same price as a paddock. And it's an Omega. Omega, that's a pretty damn good brand. And if you buy this right, because it's, 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 it's obviously not the most popular model. Um, you could swing a pretty good deal on it. And there's a few available pre-owned. Um, I think this watch could have some legs. So, in all honesty, it's actually pretty damn good. And it has the most beautiful display back. It's got the, it's got the Omega Master Coaxial Movement, uses the 8938 movement. Beautiful display back it sports and I I've got to tell you the way they have done the um, the way they have done the time zones it's pretty damn good I actually quite like it so you know what if you want a sporty world timer this could be it it's a lovely omega for not ridiculous money a nice movement beautifully finished omega it meant how, how could you seriously not love this watch and you know you wouldn't even in rolex you wouldn't even get a damn Air King for this sort of money. Air King would be more. So, I've got to tell you, I think it could be a winner, winner, chicken dinner. I really do think it could be winner, 
winner chicken dinner. It has got a lot going for it. 43 mils. This is a big baby. This is a big monster. Um, I've got to be honest with you there. This here, 21 mil lugs. Rubber strap, 43 mil, 150 meters uh, water resistant. Sapphire glass. Um, it uses the master chronometer caliber 8938 movement. Uh, this is actually pretty damn sexy and you can put a NATO on it. You can dress it up or dress it down. So I got to tell you, it is pretty. Oh, in Australia, it's 13 and a half. It's a, okay, maybe it's a bit more expensive than a, uh, a king, but you could pick these up on the pre-owned and definitely get a discount. Um, I think it's actually a nice watch. I think it's a nice... You want a big sport? If you're a young guy, youngish, like under 40, it's a beautiful sports world timer. Sports world timer, that's what it is. It's a sports world timer. I think it definitely has got potential. And it's an Omega. Omega doesn't make junk. They make very impressive watches. Yeah. So I, I've got to tell you, I, I initially had reservations. But the more I've looked into it, the more I like it. Okay, guys, that's today's paid review. Guys, like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Don't be afraid to put some comments down below. And guys, remember, I can't survive on Google Ads. I desperately need more paid reviews to survive on YouTube. Get a paid review done, and it would really help me out. See you tomorrow, guys. Please get a paid review. Look down below, 50 US dollars, and it keeps me full-time on YouTube. <laughs>